Hey, good evening, everybody. I'm actually starting exactly on time today, or at least on time of what the tweet said, because it's technically a half hour later than I had scheduled. Listen, I've been working all day on something that is going to be going out tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. And I'm just going to tell you now, tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern, on my YouTube channel, at Iggy and the Ape, you can see my review of the Fallout board game, the board game based on Bethesda and Black Isle, I think was the original developer. The Fallout video games. It's the board game version. You'll get to see what I think about it in that analysis review video. But I've been working very hard on it for quite a bit. So, yeah, please go subscribe and go check that out. <clears throat> in the meantime, we got some more Super Mario Bros. 3 to play. So let's get into it. Let me... There we go. We are on to world five. Which means there's only seven worlds here? I remember there being eight. I thought the sky world was the last one before the end world. The audio is already glitching out. Literally just started. Thanks, Elgato. Your company sucks and your product is worse. Nothing, no audio, okay. Oh, wait, there it is. All right, let's, whoop, shit. Oh, hey, it's these little bitey guys. I like these guys. You gotta watch out though. They jump. Whoa! Ah, oh, damn it! I didn't think they could go through the blocks. That's all right. That's okay. We're getting pretty close to the release of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, so I'm curious. I'm curious how much filler I'm going to have to put on the end here. I mean, I say filler. It's, um, it's still going to be gameplay and everything. It's going to be at least as entertaining as all this has been. Nice. Did it. Oh my god, the audio is really friggin' glitching out. It's really pissing me off, man. Why does the Elgato do this? There's no need. Shit. I think there was probably stuff up there I wanted. Oh well. <coughs> Whoops. Man, I did a terrible job of all that. Let's go with the middle one. Ah! Uh, this feels like the place to be. Ah, shit! Oh, he can pick up the block. Well, that's good to know. Shit. No. I fucked it up again. Frustrations. Nope, can't go down that one. What about this one? Nope, really is just the middle one. Those two are just aesthetic. They're just for looks. Listen, I don't blame them. When you look that good. Oh, fuck. I can't jump on that block? I, uh, I guess that makes sense. It's annoying. Okay. I'm just gonna use the D-pad, I think, because the analog stick is a bit of a pain. Alright, let's see if I can do this bit. Whoop. Shit! Yep, 
Yeah, continue. Let's try it again. From the top. God damn it. Ugh. Hold on, I'm gonna switch this over. It's really pissing me off that the fucking Elgato can't handle audio. One of the two things it's designed to do. Video and audio capture. just need to get a dedicated USB for it. Which would be annoying, but would be doable. Ah, shit. Whoa, okay. Try this bit again. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ow, oh, fuck! Come on! He wasn't even gonna land on me. This tiny little fucking stupid turtle head poking over the block. It's just, we're gonna just ignore this whole situation. I have no need for it. Ah, 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 ah. Fuck! Come on now, come on now. Come on now. We've got it. Okay, now I gotta wait. What? Let him throw it. Whoop. Okay, that doesn't affect the piranha plant. Fuck. Starting to friggin' skip out again. I'm actually gonna go to the bottom of the pipes here. And then, oh yeah, and now it's cut out completely again. What the fuck is going on? 
Why does it do this shit? Hold on. Hold on. Just gotta wait. Gotta wait for it. And in fact, for the sake of thoroughness, let's just unplug all of these cables, too. Hopefully, that'll fix it. All right, and then we are going to create a suspend point right here so I don't have to keep wasting my goddamn time with that opening bit. Fuck. Watch out now. Watch out now, he's got the fire. He's got the flame. Got him. Whoop. There we go. These guys are actually pretty easy to take out once you uh get their deal. Yep, I do like that they got the buffalo arms. It's kind of cute. There we go. That level wasn't so hard. Okay, okay. I was having unnecessary trouble with it. We're good. We're gonna get to the Toad House. We're gonna get some good from the left box. Hey, Tanuki suit. Hell yeah. And I'll create a suspend point over here in case I get a game over so I don't have to don't have to go through all those levels again. Whoa, going backwards. That's weird. I what? I got it, but I didn't turn into the Oh, it's the shoe level. This is... I mean... Ah, damn it. I wanted the show. Yes. Yes, let me in. Yes! This is, I believe, the only level with the Goomba shoe. In fact, I think it had, like, a weird name, like... The Perancy shoe or some nonsense that never came up, but... Yes. Yes! I have the power of God! Oh, it feels good. It feels so good. Shoe time, baby! Yes! I don't even gotta worry about falling in there. Ah, oh, no, my shoe! It's okay, because we got another shoe right over here. Whoops. Ah, oh, damn it. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta have that shoe. Karibo, yeah, it might have been the Karibo shoe. It's not the Goomba shoe, which is, uh, which is a little odd. I figured that'd be what they'd call it, but you know what? If you look at these games, you look at what Miyamoto came up with, and you think he's gonna come up with a simple name for something, well, then you're mistaken, my friend. Shigeru Miyamoto has no chill, and he is super extra. All right, all right. Bit of a tricky platforming situation right here. Oh, shit. Ah. Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if you were there for it, one, but I 
told about how uh, last weekend um, my roommate's kid was over and uh, I had to help him. Uh, I didn't technically have to help him build a deck for Yu-Gi-Oh! But the fact that he had a deck that had like five god cards in it and nothing below like seven star level. So he literally could not play any of the cards the way he built the deck. I was like, okay, bud, we gotta... We gotta fix this, fix this up. I get that. You, I get that you like Slifer, Raw Obelisk, all those guys. They look powerful from the show, but we're gonna, we're gonna do this, do this upright. I also had to teach him how to play the game the actual way and not the way that the show teaches. It's fine, bro. I was in the same, same place when I was into Yu-Gi-Oh. Shit. Ah, damn it. I mean, I, my th thing has always been I just get a starter deck and maybe change it a little bit, but like, for the most part, they balance that out. They make it a pretty solid deck. I got the Yuya starter deck right now, which I enjoy a good deal. It's got all the Performa Pal cards, which are adorable, and it's uh, a lot of Pendulum Summoning, which is... It, it, it's confusing, and it's kind of OP, but... It's, it's fun. This is a jump rope level. Let's jump in with Corbin Blue. Watch out. Whoa! Oh, jeez. All oh, the bubbling lava. Ah, that that makes sense. Come on. Come on, go off. There we go. Um, yeah, that was the main thing is that he had the three promo versions of the god cards that you're not actually allowed to use in a deck. And then he had uh he had legal raw and legal slifer and I had to heavily discourage him from putting either into the deck because I knew that he was not going to be able to get to a point where he could use it. But eventually, I I, I allowed him to have Slifer. We, we've played four games since he put Slifer back in, and he has never once been able to uh, summon him, so... I don't know. I, I can't convince him that that's a pretty good sign that it's not very useful to him, but whatever. It's his deck. We did a lot of playtesting on it. Oof. Uh, let me just star it up. Oh, whoa. Hey, another P-Wing. That'll be very useful for this next level. Oops, come on, jump up. There we go. Yeah, I always remember these little Hammer Bro segments being a uh, pain in the ass, but they're actually not as hard as I remember. The pattern is pretty easy to, to keep up with. And I'm actually going to... No. Ah, whoops! Well, okay, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Yep. Yo. Whoops. Well, wasted my tanuki suit. And that leaf. God, I am just I am just killing it tonight. Shit. Oh boy, I'm so good. Do Mario. Hey, swing your arms from side to side. Yeah. I I looked at what Wing Dragon of Raw does, and I'm like, wow, this is, this is really bad, in fact. 
Like, he, he does not get that. I tried to explain to him, like, by reading directly from the card, and I was like, does that sound like a good card to you? And he'd be like, yeah, it's good in the show. It's like, bud, no. It doesn't matter if it's good in the show. Is it good? D does it sound like it's actually going to be useful to you? <sighs> oh, boy. Yeah, exactly. It's like they're really hard to actually summon the god cards and um they're not that strong, really? Like they're about like uh blue eyes is white dragon is like even stronger for the most part and it only takes two tributes to summon. So like I don't know why you would want the god cards rather than just a blue eyes. Let me in. Let me in! Climbing the tower. Gotta watch out, there's little jumpy blocks. They can be a little dangerous. I believe there's like a secret if you jump off to the right, but I'm not gonna risk it. There we go. Oh wait, this is still part of World 5. Huh. So what happens... What happens after this then? I thought this was World 6 or 7. Wow. Really? They just let you... You, you can just summon summon those cards outright. It's weird. Seems, uh, kind of stupid, TBH. Because <laughs> uh, one of the few things that makes Yu-Gi-Oh, like, playable is the fact that you have to plan that stuff out. It's not, not a great game. Um, it's not terrible. But as far as I don't know, train card games all have the same problem, so it's not especially worse than any other TCG. It's all the same issues. Oh, Ancient Rules. I thought that was like a version of the rules. That's a, uh, that's a card, huh? Okay, okay, I see. Damn. That's a fair point, yeah. Yeah, especially um, some of the, like, stuff there. The one that really messed with me was uh, Mirror Force. That's, that card is so, so overpowered. Like, I, I kept thinking, like, this has to have been, like, banned at some point, right? Like, there's no way that this is still allowed in tournament play and everything. And it, it looked it up, it's still somehow a legal tournament card. It's just, like, that, that completely destroys your entire, like, situation if they play that on you. There's, n like... If it's late game and they do that shit, there's no coming back from it. Oh, okay, I guess I can only be one power up on screen at a time. Oh, wow. Wow, that was a sh- I keep forgetting how short these levels are. Has been banned, really? Okay, I saw like a lot of different like Reddit threads and stuff when I was looking it up that said like, uh, they were saying it should be banned, other ones that were saying, like, it couldn't be banned because it's too deep into the meta. I don't know. I, I think it's a little OP and it should be banned, personally. But I also don't play the game enough to really care. Damn. Ah, sometimes, sometimes I can get him. But not today. Gonna. Wow, 
What? Okay, what does that do? I used it earlier, the music box, but I, I don't... I don't get what it did. Hmm. That's true, especially with the, 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 a lot of the newer versions of summoning, like Link Summon and Pendulum Summoning mean that you can get a crap load of monsters at once. Ah, this is the level I'd want to use the, uh, P-Wing on. Eh. Uh, although, I think I can get through this level on the first time, it's not that hard. Yep. Ah, shit! <laughs> hmm. I don't know, it feels OP to me, but I don't play, I, like I said, I don't play the game enough to really make that kind of a judgment. Oh boy, I sure love the uh, P-Wing noise. Really? There's one that's more powerful than that? Because, like, that, that shit just uh, wrecks your entire, like, force. So what what is more OP than mere force? Do-do. Shit. No, no, don't, don't do that. No, don't. Go away. Go away. I didn't ask for you. No, thank you. No, no. Damn. Almost got the star. Oh well. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Pick a box. We're going right box. Okay. Raccoon leaf. I'll accept it. Hey. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, hopefully that's actually useful in this level. <laughs> Not a fan of the fire flower. I feel it's a bit, a bit under useful. I do like this uh, castle made out of gold blocks. It is uh, aesthetically very pleasing. Shit! Ah, damn. Is that what Raigeki do does? I remember it came up when we were building the deck. I don't remember if we... I don't think we added it. We did... You know what? We did add it, but... um, I mean, he's seven, so he did not understand how to use it properly. So, yeah. I, I, I could... Thinking back on it, uh, that one could definitely be super useful if you used it correctly. That's the big thing, is we still had to keep his deck, uh, very... Very... How do you put it? Uh, simple. Like, so that he could actually understand how to use all the cards. The... The most, um... The most complicated we did, ones we did were the Go-Uki cards. And we did not include the Link one, because I could not explain Link summoning to him in a way that he would understand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, damn it. Whew. Fireball town, man. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Harpy's Feather Duster would be pretty... Pretty ridiculous. Um, we did have... Uh... Card destruction, that one's banned, isn't it? 
Because I remember he kept using that one, and it was mostly annoying because he can't shuffle his own deck, so it meant like five minutes of me shuffling two full decks before we could play again. And he'd just use it immediately because he didn't get when it was actually good to use. <sighs> Alright, let's see if I can line this up this time. There. Oh, that's not the one I was going for. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. Yes! Two up. Not great, but I'll take it. Could be better, but I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, two more levels and then the airship. Oh, whoop. Shit, shit. Oh, I did hit the wrong one. Yeah, it's not like that. That That is pretty much how um, card destruction works, but like I said, he can't shuffle cards. So that, um, right? No, okay, never mind. I was thinking, shit, what was it? There was another one that he was using where we had to shuffle both decks, basically. Um, but it was like, he would just use it immediately, which means that he would oftentimes have, like, a good hand. Like, we'd go back and look at what hand he had, and he would have probably won if he had not done that. But all he understands is that it always happens at a dramatic moment in the show. So he was like, I'm just gonna use it immediately. I don't know, man. I, oh... What did that do? Mm. No! No! Aw, oh, damn it. Whoop! Just gotta keep moving. Shit! Tricked me there. They set up a pattern and then they broke it. Ooh, that's clever. I don't know. I we played like like four full matches, so like 12 rounds of the game. So by the end like my mind was mush as far as Yu-Gi-Oh goes. I I'm probably misremembering most of the cards. TBH. go with that and that. Nice. That was just luck. TVH. Oh, oh, I remember flower here. Yep. There was a star there? No, the one up. Damn. Damn, damn, Daru. Whoops, I probably should have made another suspend point. Oh well. Oh well, I'm I should be okay. Although I say that every time and then it turns out I'm rarely okay. Whoa, oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. That's what I remember. I, I have strong memories of this level being hard, and I was like, why was that? Oh yeah, the little fireball spitting guys. Oh yeah, we, I let him have Pot of Greed at first, because I, while I know that it's banned, I was just like, he's not going to use it, like, in any kind of strong strategic way, so it's not that big an issue. 
Um, but then eventually I was like, okay, now we've played this, we have a strong deck, so now we have to take out all the ones that are no longer allowed. Oh boy, ominous music. What? Hmm. Damn it. I was hoping to hang on to that fire flower for a bit longer. Nope, 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 no thank you. And the boss, there we go. Hey. It's frickin' Roy! Or is this Morton? No, Morton was the other one, right? The other pug looking one? Man, yeah, these bosses are total pushovers. Some back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Love from the princess. All right, what'd you give us? What's up, Peach? Um. Oh, the ice world is next. Forgot about the ice world. Oh boy. I love slip sliding on ice all the time. Although I will admit, they do actually some interesting stuff with the ice world in this one. Like, uh, the ice blocks you can melt, and sometimes they have dudes in them. Like, the princess was talking about the letter there. They also got these piranha plants blowing, blowing puffs of air. Whoa. Which makes for a much more dangerous piranha plant. Oh. But yeah, Pot agreed. It, it, it is pretty brain dead solution to pretty much any deck. It's like, yeah, I just get more cards, that just gives me a better hand economy. Why would I not do that? Ah, damn it. Ah, it went further than I thought it would. Oh, well. Let's do this, Hammer Bros. Take this. Take this. Take that. Hey. I got him. Oh. And they had a, they had a hammer. Who would have thought? What's through this pipe? Um. Oh. Well, that doesn't really help me that much. I'm gonna save the hammer for a uh, better use. TBH. Huh. Da shit. I looked at the chat. Looked at the chat right as I started the level. Rookie mistake. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, th that's the thing, is that the, the start of the card game was just designed to be a tie-in for the show, and it wasn't until pff, a few years later that they actually started to try and make it into a, a game.
Je veux. I don't know. The, the, the problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! is, as with most uh, TCGs, if you have the best cards, you will win. And if you have the best cards, play is kind of dull because you'll just play the best card. Why wouldn't you? Like, figuring out what the best, what the best thing to play with the hand that you currently have is, is not that difficult. So really, the play comes to building the deck, and to build the best decks, you just have to have the best cards. Oh, no, it's just coins. I don't need that. Oh, 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 oh. nearly got tricked there. Shit. Whoa. That's also true. That could be fun. I mean, it's it's the reason I just go with the starter decks. The Like, every few years when I get the itch to play a TCG, I'll just buy a, a starter deck and play a few games and be like, that was pretty fun. But I don't, I don't need to get into it to the depth of seeing everything that goes through. Um, seeing all of the cards that you could do. That is that is appreciated. Yeah, Magic the Gathering. I mean, they're they're very similar. I would say Magic the Gathering has a slightly better, um, slightly better summon economy because with the with the lands, I think that works a little better than just how, what monsters do you have out. But, um, and especially, I gotta say, I really hate the uh, star level system in Yu-Gi-Oh because it's like, yeah, it goes up considerably high, but it's like, there's really only three levels. There's don't need to tribute, tribute one, tribute two. But instead, they have those split up into weird stuff, and it's like, okay, I have to remember five and six, and I gotta look at the card real close and, like, count out six tiny little stars. And half the time, I get, I get it wrong. Um, but... Magic is is so such a boring theme compared to Yu-Gi-Oh's theme. Um, I would say the the one I like the best would have to be Hearthstone because the uh, the constant mana uh, upgrading system. I don't know how you'd put it, but just getting another mana to use each turn creates a very good pacing for every match. So that, like, you start out with small, small cards, but, like, you get up there and it's like, shit gets crazy by the end. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the worst thing, because it is pretty clear, like, uh, you remember five and six, seven or more, but it's like... Eh. The, the stars can be pretty tricky to read, and it's especially five and six, which are the ones where it starts to matter where it gets, like, kind of hard to count them out. So, I don't know, I, I find it uh, a bit frustrating. It seems like it seems like a system that they made only because they did it in the show already and they hadn't worked out how it would work in an actual game. It also sucks because, honestly, I love Yu-Gi-Oh!, but I specifically love Yu-Gi-Oh! pre-Duel Monsters. Because Duel Monsters is fun and all, but it's like, that was just the final Kaiba arc of the manga, as far as I'm concerned, was uh, Duel Monsters. But then even then, in that arc, it's like he went, to, he, there's like a fucking fast food Russian roulette with Mokuba, which is bananas. It's, it's a super awesome chapter where Jinochi and Yugi have to eat possibly poisoned food. Mmm, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, it's like, the the thing I loved about the manga is that every chapter or arc would have, like, a totally different game that you'd have to learn the rules of 
and it was like it was such creative games it would be such creative opponents everything was so much darker and like kind of scary and then it became dual monsters and it's like okay but i would have loved it for them to like do more stuff that's why i loved it when they did dungeon dice monsters for a brief arc because it was something new Oh, yeah. I, I haven't played with Ixies or Synchro yet, but it sounds like they'd be really annoying if you aren't positive which, uh, which levels you have. Fuck! So close. Where does this pipe go? Sliding. Um... Oh. Okay. Well, that's not very useful. I think that's probably what the, uh, the cloud is for. Something, I don't know. I guess it's this, I don't know. Like, most classic shows like Yu-Gi-Oh!, Yu Yu Hakusho, Dragon Ball, I feel like they were all better before they just became fighting anime, basically. And Yu-Gi-Oh! is, with Duel Monsters, just became, like, a fighting anime and a bunch of tournament arcs. And it's like, Yu Yu Hakusho was, like, an interesting, like, ghost adventure detective mystery kind of series. Fuck. And then it just became a bunch of tournament arcs with fighting and energy swords and Dragon Ball was like all these awesome adventures and they went on like the like uh, the big thing that annoyed me about Dragon Ball Z is in Dragon Ball when they had to go get the Dragon Balls it was like an entire volume of the manga like they took the time to show you all the different adventures and then in Dragon Ball Z it's just relegated to a montage every time the most we get is like the Namek arc but that's just to make the the Dragon Balls exist again it doesn't really have anything to do with um, finding the Dragon Balls themselves. Whoop. Yeet. Damn. Yeah. Um... I mean, I didn't even, I had the, uh, the, 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 like I said, the Yuya starter set, which is mm, pretty much just, um, pendulum summoning, but I read Ixie summons and it just sounds like not useful for the most part. But I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. I didn't think pendulum summoning was super useful at first either, but then when I started using it more, I was like, oh, this is this is pretty heckin' useful. Shit, shit, shit. Whew! Oh, holy hell. I should be dead. Yeah. Fair enough. I will recommend to anybody who is was ever interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! or watched the show, but never read the manga, uh, go look for Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero, which is a little bit of the manga, or just go read the original Yu-Gi-Oh! manga. Because, like, up through the first, like, five volumes, it was a totally different story, and a much better story, to be honest. Like, the artwork was better, the, the characters... The, the plots, all of it, was so much more interesting than what the show ended up doing. Uh, easiest to summon. Oh, fair enough. I mean, pendulum summoning isn't that hard to summon. It just takes at least two turns and, like, some good draws. Um, yeah, the manga, I would say, is better than Season Zero, but they're very similar. Uh, they added an extra character to Season Zero, which was weird. Who doesn't show up in the, the, the show or in the manga. Like, the show after that. Um, so, I don't know what that 
was all about. Am I looping? I think I looped. Yeah, I think there's a, a secret path here I gotta take. Do I gotta go this way? Nope. Increase it. Really? I don't remember her being in there at all. I've read through the 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 manga good few times. Three or four times at least, so. Hmm. I think you might be thinking of a different character than I am. What is the... what's the secret here? What is the secret? Oh, goddammit, I probably have to go down the this pipe, huh? No? Shit, what am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I do remember her in the manga now that you mention it, but yes, that is the character I was thinking of. Um, yeah, I don't know. They they made her like a main character, and they made Tristan a much bigger t character in season zero than he originally was. It was mostly just Jinochi, Anzu, and uh, Yugi in the manga, and then. Tristan showed up a little bit later um, when they started playing Dungeons and Dragons with Bakura, or rather Dungeon World, I think. Right? Dungeon World? Some, 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 some business like that. I'm running out of time, but I definitely, I definitely see what they're doing here now. If I die here, I'm just gonna go to, uh, gonna uh, use the P-Wing. Here? No, no. Close. Close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Up, up, up! Shit. Well, that sucks. All right, all right. Fair enough, yeah. I, I can tell that, like, pendulum summoning, if used appropriately, would be ridiculous. Like, there, the stuff that you could do with it just under current rules is hilariously OP. All right. Shit, shit. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. All right, I'm just going to die and come back here with a P-Wing. <sighs> Go on, then. Oh, it doesn't sound good. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, that's bad for me. Fuck! I don't have another P-Wing! <sighs> Shit. Well, I'm gonna take a break and come back to this. I, I get how to get through that level, for sure, but I just... having troubles. So, I'll be right B.
Do not touch that internet dial. I have returned. What's what is popping, my gamers? Um. Yeah, you got a good point. One. Uh, what? Why would flame swordsman need to be a fusion? It's not even really like good enough of a card to uh justify that. Like that means you have to devote at least two cards in your deck to that one card. That seems like a little much. For a card that's like just kind of middling. If I remember it correctly, anyways. <gasps> My boys! They have returned. Yes. Yes, my man. Ah. Fair enough. TBH, a lot of the fusion monsters seem like their only purpose is to fulfill stuff from the show, because, like, most of them are not really worth the amount of work it is to get them in, a, like, in an actual duel. God damn it. Ah, ah! There we go. Here we are. Up we go! Fish! Fish! I 
Okay. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Okay. Okay. Watch out, Mario. Ah, damn it! Ah, oh, I got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. I don't really... Well, not this. I don't really know what it's for. You know, fair enough. That that seems a little more lenient. Because, yeah, it's, if, if you have a fusion monster, you basically have to build your deck around it. And that's... Seems like a big ask for some of them. Here we go. Oh, it's a Hammer Bros suit. That's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gives you a fat old... Fat old gut. That's yeah, just Mario in general. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god, these swimming segments are... Like pulling teeth. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. I like how you can see a little gap in the water around the pipe. It's pretty silly. No, no, my boys. Why would you betray me like this? Fuck. Ah, damn it. Hmm. No, no, nothing much more. Maybe I shouldn't use the pipe. Nah. Nah, I can handle it. Just gotta, just gotta get this mushroom first. The cheap, cheap, climbing up the salmon elevator to spawn. You guys ever learn about the salmon elevators? Maybe that was just a Washington thing, but uh, salmon is a big thing for Washington. It's one of their main agricultural uh, uh, mainstays, since there are a lot of salmon out there. So, did a lot of field trips at salmon hatcheries as a kid. That's just for looks, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Shit, shit, nope. Ah, don't come at me. Don't come at me! Hmm. Oh, really? And guy in who, uh... That sounds fascinating. How do I block? Band. There we go. Spam. Band. There we go. Uh, it doesn't. It's a terrible idea because A, if you get caught, usually your account gets deleted. And B, um, most algorithms don't care about your uh, the number of followers and viewers and such. They care more about how much engagement there is. So if you ever notice someone with like hundreds of thousands of followers, but they only get like a handful of likes, they probably bought most of them because nobody is engaging with their stuff. And so it's uh, pretty low value as far as the, the site is concerned. glad that I can ban from mobile. I've only had to do it twice so far. Nope, three times. I've done it three times. One for that because he was spam, one because a guy really misunderstood what the stream was about and was being an ass. And another one because he just sounded like a dick. He just came right in and told a story about how he was a total friggin' prick to his uh to his little cousin. It's like, yeah, I don't I don't need to know about any of that, I don't need that in my life. Man, I am getting pretty decent at this swimming segment. Ah, ah, the days of the Paper Mario Marathon. It was, it was stressful. 
The only reason I did this marathon is because this is just a, a pretty simple platformer. So I will have no problem finishing all of these games in a week of streams. The only real difference I had to do was doing streams daily. Which I've done in the past before. You know, done a few weeks of daily streams and such. It helped a bit. Not super well, you know. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but I'm glad I got the experience, you know. It was it was different. Yeah, I'm a middle child, so I didn't feel any personal retribution for it, you know. But it's still pretty freaking dickish. And um yeah, as was pointed out, it's like that just pushes people away from the hobby. That kid probably didn't end up be becoming a fan of games or anything because his cousin gave him such a shitty experience with him. That's just a dick move, dude. Okay. Doing this again. Yeah, consistency. I mean, uh, uh, my theory has always been there are uh, close to 8 billion people on this planet. And if you think about it, that it's very likely that there are at least uh, a few thousand people who have the exact same taste as you do. So, if you make something that you would like and that you make it consistently and you just get your name out there enough that the people who have the same taste as you can find it, you can pretty much do whatever it is you want to do and be successful at it online. It'll take some time, and it'll be faster if you know marketing and shit, but... Fuck, fuck, I need that. But, um... But yeah, it's, it's possible. Shit. Ah, damn it. My leaf. My leaf! Okay, next time I gotta make sure to get rid of those ice blocks first. But then, also, sometimes you just get lucky. Like, my most viewed video on YouTube, it's got, like, 25,000 views, but it's just, like, a less than one minute tutorial on how to do something with FL Studio. And I just made it because I was having trouble finding that, and all the tutorials I found were, like, 10 minutes long because they were hoping to get, like, a decent algorithm, like, off of it. And I was just like, no, nah, this is just how you do it. There you go. And, yeah, I still get people being like, yeah, no, this is how tutorials should be made. It's it's annoying seeing a million tutorials that are just way too goddamn long because they want to get the AdSense. Fuck. This shit's hard. This, this part specifically, this shit, this is hard. Ooh. Yeah, th that's the thing, with all success. It's like, you can keep grinding at it forever, but it's like, whether or not you get successful is just taking the opportunities you get. And so, it's, many people point out, it's like, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Someone who doesn't know what they're doing is never going to really get lucky because they don't have the skills to do anything with it. But, if you know what you're doing, and you get the right opportunity then luck will find you. Finally, fuck. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, totally. Yeah, YouTube is fully to blame with that shit. Genuinely, like, the I fucking hate YouTube, and I would absolutely use any other service. If I had the if I had the option, but I don't, because YouTube has a fucking monopoly on it. Like, oh, there's Vimeo, there's Daily Motion, but it's like you don't get views on those sites. They're non-options. That's true. Yeah, yeah, you'll see like the one-hit wonders and stuff of like people who 
who will be big for a bit because like, oh, they got lucky the one time, but it's like, it takes, it takes actual skill to maintain that. Mm hmm, nice. 20 coin? Nope. Damn it. Ah. That's all right, that's okay. All right, let's go. Mmm. This looks very refreshing. It looks like a lovely, lovely winter's morn. Just a brisk, brisk chill in the air. Bit of shit. <laughs> a lovely time to have a, a warm apple cider. Little, uh, little, little hack for you guys. It's a. Uh, I mean, it's not really a hack. It's just. I hate the term secret menu because that rarely is it actually that. It's basically just people making shit up. Um, but one of the items that they don't really advertise at Starbucks that is actually part of their recipe book is a, a spiced caramel apple cider. Um, so I would definitely recommend that next time it's like cold out, ask for that. It's just steamed apple juice with a little bit of cinnamon dolce syrup and some whipped cream on top. It's, it's delightful, it's just it's just warm, warm, cinnamony, just ooh, delicious, wonderful winter's treat. <laughs> Sorry, I am in the zone now. Concentrating, ah! Fuck this guy. Okay. Fuck. Oh no, I'm fucked now, aren't I? Ah, damn it. Madoche? No, nah, no, nah, cinnamon dulce. Like, like dulce de leche. But, madoche, yes. That's, um. Coco, Coco's favorite set from the uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh is the Madoche, and I can agree, dude. I I'm partial to the Performa Pals because I I love me some uh, big big bombastic performance. That's what that's all about, and they're adorable. Oh, what the fuck? They're adorable animals. But um. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm doing a full run here, so I gotta do it eventually. Of course it's popular. It's adorable. Because the thing is with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like, yeah, there's there's the cards that are good, but it's like, in the end, don't you just want cards that you like? I know I do. I mean, I know for a fact I'm gonna, pl like, look at the cards more than I'm gonna end up actually playing the game. Oh yeah, Ghost Tricks. Ooh, that'd be a fun game to play on here would be um Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. It's a it's a super um it's like a cult classic on the original DS where you're a ghost who can kind of only control objects. It's super fun. Uh you can actually find if you have an iOS device. They have it on there for the oh, shit. The first like chapter is free, and then like it's like ten bucks for the whole game. Hmm. Harpies seem like they could be pretty good if you do them correctly. I haven't the time, nor the mind. That's always the thing with me. It's like I I've said this before. I'm a, a maximizer, which is to say I want to have. Uh, the most options that I possibly can so I can never be satisfied when building a deck or something and I always feel like the anxiety of like I don't I, d I did something wrong I could have done it better but I understand the different like ideas around building a deck 
well enough that I can I can build a decent deck. Never never a great deck, but an okay one for sure. Shit, shit, shit. Get out of here. You're what fucked me last time, boy. Boamp. There we go. Normal Monsters seems like another one where it could be very easily, like, OP if you do it right. There's a lot of options there. Hold on. Let me, let me squidge around here. Adjust that. Bring this down. So I don't look so squat. Yeah. Ugh. I always, I kind of like slouch into my shoulders when I'm playing here, so I always look kind of short neck. I also have a, have a short neck. Surprisingly. Um. I've come to terms with this. I don't have body image problems. Just kidding. Of course I do. I'm a human being who exists in our current society. We all have body image problems. It's been forced upon us. Shit. Mmm. That makes sense. Oh, wait. Can I... Can I fly? Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Haha, <laughs> nice. I feel like that was an intentional shortcut, but fuck it, I don't care. I did it. Feels good, feels good. Well, that's always the thing, is like, if you if you do it correctly, any deck can be pretty solid. Um, the, the thing I heard... The, the thing I've always liked about TCGs is, uh, somebody pointed out, deck building is effectively sharing the task of game design with the player. Because while they did set it up to try and balance it and stuff, they just give you the cards and they're like, you decide how you want to play. And it's, um... Guardians are trash. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, it's springtime in the meadow. Finally, the ice has broken on another spring morn. Shit. Do 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 do. Shit. Shit! Oh, damn. That was going good for me. And I fucked it right up. Come on now. Come on now. Shit. Dude, dude, dude. Come on, give it to me. Yes. Satisfying level. Oof. It, it's really that inverse that it can be directly, uh, directly in proportion as trash. So, what is the Guardian's deck? Specifically, I'm not as familiar with that one. Oh, 
Whoa. Bam. Okay, okay. I can handle fish. You think you're the first fish to have the best of me? No siree, Jim. Sunny Jim. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Going to presume that's the way out? Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, that does sound really trash. Why would you want a prerequ- Why would you want any more prerequisite to summon anything in Yu-Gi-Oh than you already have? Yeah, I don't need the coins that bad, guys. No thanks. Do do. Ooh, uh -huh. Nope, nope. Bad time. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's always the, it's always the balanced thing of like, if it's more powerful to make it not OP, they have to add more prerequisites, but it's like, if they're not that good to begin with, it uh, seems like they're asking a bit much. Nice, nice. Start. Start. Damn. Well, well, well. Oh, geez. This is very foreboding. Spikes on tap. Shit. Let's, uh, let's just load a suspend point on that one. Give ourselves a better shake. Whoop. Go, go, go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, it's these guys again. Oh, I love these guys. Uh, but they are no good for me. Shit, 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 shit. Damage boost. Damage boost past whump. This is ridiculous. You're seriously expecting me? Ah, god damn. Hold on, I'm just gonna load the suspend point so I don't have only two and I can have the mushroom. Oh god, my ear itches. All right, let's do this. Go, go, 
Go, go, go, go, go! Come on now, come on now. Shit. Fuck. Oh, the little bump! He had me! Whoa, shit, shit. Ugh, already a bad start. Oh, jeez. Gotta set off the thwomp, and then get... Oh, damn it. That's all right. I got this. I got it. Fuck. All right. Let's just load the suspend point. God damn. God damn, that's hard. not that hard. And in fact, I'm gonna create a suspend point. Bam. Took him out. That's the end of this world, so let me hit it with another suspend point. Let's do it. Oh, jeez, he got turned into a manty mole. That's no good for him. Oh no, do I have to do this one? Whoa, okay. Oh crap. I mean, they're not that hard to do, they're so slow. Fuck! Alright, alright, gotta run after it. Here we go. I'm just gonna create another suspend point so we don't have to chase after it each time. Like the platforming on these little spinny things is not too difficult, but it's like kind of tedious and certainly very slow. Fuck! And then, yeah, every now and then, if you get the timing just a little wrong, you're done for. It's like, cute idea. Not create an execution. Just gonna create another suspend point. So I don't have to go through the first bit again. There we go. And so I don't have to go through that bit again. Shit. Ooh, that could have been bad. Go in. 
and up. Alright. Go going up. Okay. And we're at the boss. Who do we have? Ludwig Vaughn. Oh, he's got a ball. Oh, come on. Come on, back here. Come back here. Feel bad about that one. There we go. Got him. Clean. Yeah. My whole situation has been so friggin' dry lately. Ugh. It's gonna be that time of year, I guess. Hey, is that a dog? Is that a dog king? He's got like big old fluffy ears. Mm, letter from the princess. What does the letter say? Dear Mario, please retrieve the magic whistle. Hidden in the darkness at the end of the third world. I've enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Okay. Suspend point right there. Oh, this is the one where you have to like It's like kind of a maze in the overworld Ah, oh, great Ugh. Between this and Sonic, I don't know why old-school games Always felt the need to do like puzzly maze shit. I hate maze shit in games like this. It's just so tedious most of the time. And often it is not a very good, like, maze. Often it just feels super random. And keeping track of all of it? Fucking good luck. I'm not gonna get out pencil and paper and draw that shit out. There we go. That's true. Well, that's the thing, is this game, like, while the levels have all been incredibly short, it's still pretty long for an NES game. Like, they rarely got this long. And similar to how, like, Banjo-Tooie was, like, shockingly, like, it, it's shocking that that's, like, on N64, not, like, GameCube, the, because of the graphics and the size of it. Uh, but then if you actually play it on the original hardware, you're like, yeesh. Really? This is what we this is what we were working with. And yeah. Yeah, it was. So the flying. The flying in the original version of Banjo Tooie was so choppy and laggy, it looked awful. And it's part of the reason that I hate Mr. Patch as a boss. Cause like being able to fly smoothly with him was, like, not an option. Did not happen. And that meant that you had to aim and fly while it's lagging out like crazy. And it's first person while you're you're using Banjo-Kazooie flight controls? Fuck off. That shit was ridiculous. Come on, come on, come on. No, I don't need those coins. Watch out for these guys. Fuck. That's okay. Yes, I got a game over, but I'm at the beginning of the world, so that's actually good. 
Like, whatever, I lose my score. Or do I lose my items? I don't even lose my items. Why should I care? Yeah, it wasn't even like a real maze in Sonic. Like in that, it's literally just you have to find the one place that you're supposed to like veer off from the normal path and that was it. That was their idea of a maze. Like, I have a lot of nostalgia for Sonic, but I will fully admit that it was not... not great. The design was pretty sloppy. God damn it. Shit is bugging the hell out of me. You know, hold on. Before I continue on with this, I'm going to take a quick break, so don't touch the internet dial. I will be right back. I have returned. All right, let's keep this going. Um, that is a pretty good assessment, one over two. Sonic 1 wasn't great, um, but then by Sonic 2, they introduced the spin dash, which made it a lot more bearable. And Sonic 3 slash Sonic 3 and Knuckles uh, was pretty solid. I, I feel like Sonic 2 is my favorite, personally. Uh, part of it's because it came out on, like, my birth year. Whoops, that was the wrong pipe. On a Sonic Tuesday in 1992. But yeah, I, I'd say most of Sonic was never that great. Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 are definitely where the series peaked. Though, although that's why Sonic Mania, if you haven't played it and you're a fan of Sonic, you absolutely should, because it like really harkens back to the classic days of Sonic. Back in the days of yore when Sonic the Hedgehog was a respectable fellow. When he was extreme, and he'd wag his finger at you as if you'd done something wrong. Now that's attitude. Oh, audio cut out. 
Hold on. Oh, oh, it's back. It's back. Shit. Ah, damn it. Ah, I timed the jump wrong. True. I mean, well, that's the thing is that they, they, I feel like the real reason is because Tyson Hess was behind it, because Tyson had already, like, worked with Sonic, uh, Sonic Team doing some stuff, and so, like, he got in their good graces, and they were like, okay, we'll give you a shot, and they just blew it out of the water. Same thing happened with the Sonic movie. Like, it was gonna look like shit, and then Tyson Hess's team came in, and they were like, uh, guys, let's... Let's do something that looks good. And Sega was like, mm, okay. If you say so, Tyson, you haven't led us astray yet. And I'll 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 say Sonic movie's pretty good. I mean, as far as that goes, it's it's exactly what you'd expect. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad. Which I feel like is what some people were thinking is that it was gonna be a disaster, but it was fine. It was a it was a kids movie about Sonic. Hedgehog the Sonic, is that what I said? <laughs> did I is that a thing or did I misspeak? This is the first level in this world. It's fine. I'm honestly, uh, not intentionally, but like, the longer this can last, the better, because I don't think it's going to take me a full four days, or a full three, three sessions to beat uh, Mario World, but we'll see. Whoop. There we go. There we go. Oh, I've never actually heard of that. Is it good? Shit. Well, let's just go. Let's go. We can get out of this. You and me. The only Sonic comic I know of is Sonic Chew. Let me tell ya, that's art. Hold on. Oh god, he's getting all crunchy again. Let's see here. Let's see if this will help. No, no audio now. Unless. Okay. Oh. Well, fine. Fine. If this is what you have for me, then I will take it. I honestly prefer it over the last level. Cause that was a pain in my ass. Oh boy, oh no, I remember this bullshit. Yep, this is that level. Ah boy. Yep. Okay, okay. Oh, if well, if Tyson made it, then it's probably good. It's 
made some good Sonic content. I do appreciate... If you haven't, uh, go watch the Sonic Mania cartoon that's on the official Sonic channel that was made by Tyson Hess, and it's, it's very, very entertaining. Super cute. Um, it's all, like, silent uh, stuff. It's, like, classic Roadrunner shit. Um, the... What am I thinking? Uh, they actually pointed out, um, if you look at the end of Sonic Generations, beginning of Sonic Mania, the cartoon is directly after that with classic Sonic. It's pretty neat. It's fun. It's a fun show. It's a good cartoon. It's a good cartoon. What, what can I say? It's a good cartoon. Go through the pipes. There we go. Ooh, starting me off with a star. Okay. I need a... Whoa, more star. Okay. Ooh, oh, shit. Hmm, let's try that again. No, shit. Oh, went off the side. Uh, wait. Uh, the star's in the... No. Huh, I guess it was just a freak coincidence that there was a second star. What? I can't butt slide the spinies? That's... that's silly. I thought the butt slide, like, made it for everybody. Ah, I see. Oh, fuck it. Keep going. I'll slow down for lack of two. No, sir. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so I see how this level goes. You gotta get the star, and then you gotta get to the next star before that one fades away. Ah! Oh boy. Okay. I got it. I got it. And then we just go, we go, we go. What are these green balls? That's not spiny. It's just a round green ball. Nope, nope, shit. Damn. Come on, give me anything. Star, sure. That's one up. That's so that's one. I'll accept it. Then we're gonna actually uh create a suspend point. And I'm gonna do this until I get it. So we're gonna actually create the suspend point here. Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Okay. Nope. And that ah, fuck it. Yeah, let's just do another one. Nope. Nope. There we go. I know this is fucking cheating, whatever. I don't care. Who am I cheating? Who am I cheating? Bowser? He doesn't care. He'd cheat. Yes. Five up. Sip. Alright, let's do it. Oh boy, auto scroller swimming. Uh, it feels good. I'm so happy. Shit. I'm so excited to be doing doing an auto scroller that I'm also swimming in. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh God, we're going up. We're going up. Oh boy, I'm getting TMNT flashbacks. Shit. Nope, no, nope, actually I'm not gonna. I'm not cheating myself out of anything. I would just have to replay the game and waste my real world time if I didn't get those lives. So like, if anything, I'm helping myself by using what is officially sanctioned by Nintendo to my advantage. Yeah, um, strong current. Shit, shit, shit. This is the first time these spiky fish have popped up. Although I don't really get how they're supposed to be any more threatening than the standard cheap cheap. I mean, it's still just one hit, one death. And then I'm just gonna, yep. Just gonna do this because I don't, I don't play auto scrollers. I don't mess around with that nonsense. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding? In the middle of this bullshit? Hoo hoo hoo! Cruel, Shigeru. Cruel. create another suspend point because yeah this is just these levels are the longest <laughs> there's no reason to force y'all to sit through more of me fumbling through this than you than you'd like don't care don't care that's the that's the exit I'm going to go going through this side. Heck you. Wonder if it actually matters. Oh boy. This has maze nonsense written all over it. Yep. Mmm, pipe maze. Good. Alright, alright. Come on, anything. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. 
a mushroom. Be a mushroom. Thank you. Thank you. Let's find out what's over there. Well, first of all, a trap. I cannot leave. Not under these conditions. Mm. Okay. Anything about that? Hey, hey. a little hop, skip, a do right over there. Got me right across. not gonna deal with that jittery guy. Okay, I guess I gotta. Or I could just do this. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, it's not like doing anything with that guy's gonna really help me in that case. Shit. Oh boy, hidden blocks are like the most annoying thing to ever be implemented into Mario. Oh, okay, it's, uh, it's good though, I had to go over there. Okay, mercifully short. That's my review. Mercifully short. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tanuki Don. Let's create another suspend point. And head over... Does this take me to six? Six! No. I guess the other one will take me to six. Let's go. Hmm. Well, it takes me there. Acceptable. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wonder what the puzzle is gonna be here. Ooh. That's spooky. Well, there's only one other door, so... I must. Oh, oh, better posture. Can't break my spine, gaming. To be a terrible way to go. Shit, shit, shit. Ooh. Shit. Is it really that particular? Motherfucker. Alright, alright. Just gonna... Oh, never mind. What happened to all the lake? Uh... Oh, wait. I'm... 
I had left and right bumpers to use in that, so I should have... Ah, damn it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And when it's fine, you know it's fine. I'm going to assume something will be back this way. Now that I've done this... Some sort of secret. Ah, there it is. B switch. Oh, wait, there it was. Oh, there it was. Well, may as well grab all the coins I can. Get a one up. Whoops. Uh, this one? No. This one? No, 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 no. Uh, that one. Shit. Whoops. Well, I'll just get another one up while I'm at it. Oh no, I'm running out of time. Can't keep fucking around. There we go. And this way? Nope. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's so rude. That's so fucking rude. Alright, alright. I got this, I got this. Let me out, let me out. It's a nuki don. Oh, is that it? Oh, I gotta fly up in the big room, don't I? Fuck. Well, I've done it before. I'll do it again, goddammit. Bam! Six seconds to go. Five. Yes! I am the king at fucking a boom boom. Star. Twenty coin, twenty coin. I did it. Oh. Yup. Oh boy. Oh, well, that sucks, but whatever. I did it. Fuck. All right, let's do, let's pull this nonsense again. So I'm just gonna create a suspend point. Nope. Nope. There we go. There we go. Nope. This shit cheats, dude. There we go. It like does it for way longer the slowdown on the uh on the last side. 
some nonsense. Shit. Oh, fuck! It's okay. Hey, oh, god damn it, you can just go up and down. I'm a friggin' idiot. Alright, let's just pee-wing across this bullshit. As long as I don't get hit by a fireball, I'm good. Oh, I gotta go through here anyways? No, right? The fuck? Oh, this one. And I get another P-Wing. Well, alright, it was worth it. Where's this one take me? That doesn't help me very much. Whew, I can already tell you, dude, the, uh... I, I know that World 8 here is gonna be a friggin' bear. It's so annoying. Oh, good. In fact, I think I already knew that. On the other side. Let's do it. Come on now. Come on now. Shit. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, you're supposed to use this, huh? Okay. Interesting that... Is this in Mario Maker? I haven't seen it in Mario Maker. Seems like something people would fucking go bananas for. Oh, it goes, it loops. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That's good stuff. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, that's that good Mario. That right there, that's some good Mario. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Aw. Kinda sad this one's already over, that was good. That was really good. <sighs> I 
I mean, I know I have 13 lives, so it's not like the the biggest loss if I die once or twice, but uh, just for safety, you know. Doo doo. Shit. Ooh. Got a damage boost. Ah, fuck. Damn. That's raw. Oh, I turned on the music box. Shit, I still know what that does. This, this feels like a Mario Maker level. I like it. I like it a lot, but it, it feels like a Mario Maker level. But hey, that's not even necessarily a bad thing. We're getting into some good levels in this last world. There's some fun stuff in here. Just, just goddamn fun. All right. Hold on. I don't need to at this point. I'm just kind of being, being a shithead about it, honestly. But why wouldn't I? You know. Yeah, the first two I don't have too much trouble with. It's the last one. <sighs> ah, damn it. Go on, then. Fuck. Alright. Come on, I think that's it? No. No. Come on. Ah, come on. You know you want to give it to me. You go straight. There she is. Alright, I'm gonna finish up this world and then call it a night, so... Let's get this done, folks. Rise and grind, gamers. Damn it. Ah, that one's that one was my bad.
Who? Oh man. Ooh, ooh, that was tricky. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, Starman. Oh, wait, he's back. Yes. Do 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 do. Oh, fuck. Uh. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, God, I didn't know they could do fire. That's new. Damn. Damn. That's hard. Oh, it feels good, though. Let's just, uh... Let's just cheese it a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of cheddar. Shit. one the fire one got me yeah let's pee wing <laughs> feels a little shitty since I I'm actually having fun with this one but whatever I just want to finish up for the night so I'm just gonna get through here Oh, what's that? Secret pipe? I guess that's where you come out of from a different pipe. Whoa. Whoa! Okay. Whoa, shit. Damn, this is a pretty long one. Ah, uh, I was like right at the end? Each time before, that, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to take one more quick break before we finish off this world, but I'll BRB, so don't touch the internet dial, all right? BRB.
All right. I have returned. Let's get this. Let's do this. Let's get it done. Uh, oh, don't want to miss out on the toad house. Pick a box. This one. A frog suit. God damn it, the most useless suit. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually load my suspend point and pick something better because the frog suit sucks. Middle. Uh, hold on, let's see what the right one would have been. Oh, that would have also been a Hammer Bro suit? Well, that's still fine. Uh oh. Is this the, uh. Is this the, the maze that I was thinking about earlier? When I was playing the second world? Oh boy, it's starting to feel like it. Well, it's not too bad so far. Just not a fan of mazes, you know? I think uh, a lot of them are not done very well. And uh, they mostly are just frustrating. Yep, it's a maze. I gotta find wherever the fucking pipe is or door that takes me to the actual end of the level. Doo -doo. the end of this bullshit. I have coins. Coins, I guess. Yeah, I'm just not interested in mazes. They're long and plodding and just, just it's not challenge. I just have to keep going just to the places I haven't been yet until I find what I need. It's not a challenge. It's just... It is. It exists. just want to get out of here. Come on, come on. Oh, look at that. The end. Damn it! I almost got the five up. One's okay. One one is one up is fine. But I wanted the five. Whatever. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, let's try that all again. Fuck. God damn. They come up so fast. You basically have to already be like jumping by the time they're going down. Fuck. Nope. That 
is a pretty ridiculous first jump. Nope. Fuck! Oh, god damn it. Nope. Come on now. That's right, you gotta... Get out of the way, you boo fuck. Fucking kidding me? Ah, bastard man. Just go, just go. Fuck, what the fuck? holding down on the fucking analog and it slid over just enough to register as me pushing right. God fucking damn it. Ooh, that pisses me off. Because that was most assuredly not my fucking fault because I was pushing down. Nope. Fucking boo in the way. create a suspend point because I don't want to get fucked over again yeah like that Come on now. We got this. I don't care, don't care. Just go through. Oh no, this is some bullshit right here, I can already tell ya. Yep. Let's just go.
Okay, and Boom Boom is the same pushover they've always been. And we're just gonna suspend point that. All right, just gotta finish this shit up. Ooh, lucky me. Mm. Ten coins? Nope. That's fine. And here we go. Just gonna star our way through this one. As much of it as we can, anyways. Shit. Ah, fuck. I don't know where my last suspend point was, so I'm not gonna risk it. Alright. Here. Nice. Got the mushroom. Okay, I'll take it. Just gonna tanuki suit into here. <gasps> he turned into a Yashi! Oh no. He's quite adorable now, though, so. Maybe he is Yashi, man. Alright. And then we're just gonna create a suspend point so we don't have to deal with the cutscenes and nonsense. TBH? Don't even need the twisty. Not when I got the tanuki. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see what y'all trying to do with this level, but, uh... Too pro. Too pro. Whoop. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, whoo. Whoo. That could have been real fucking bad. Damn, this is just... This particular airship is real broken up. And twisted. I do not know whose airship this is, but they should get it fixed up. Hmm? Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I was so close to the goddamn end. Ooh, auto scrollers! Yay! I love them so much. I love when the game can fully dictate the pace that I go through a level. another suspend point because this is a annoyingly long like a level well that's fine that's that's fine I can do this twisty to Does not matter. 
That's what they tell me, but to me, in here, it matters. Come on, where's the fucking end? Jesus Christ! Ah, this one's so long! There's Ludwig Vaughn. And he's dead. No time at all. Or, well, escaped, I suppose. So with that, folks, I want to thank you, whether you're watching in the past, present, or future, with the past broadcast tab, which you can find the last 14 days of streams on if you want to catch the beginning of this stream or any of my other streams. You can also find all of my streams on my archive channel, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive on YouTube. It'll be linked down below. If you uh, would be so kind, I'd also appreciate you going to at Iggy and the Ape on YouTube, which is my personal channel. I post movie reviews, and tomorrow I'm posting a review of the Fallout board game, Fantasy Flight's Fallout, A Mutated Mess. That's going to be the name of the video. It's going to be tomorrow evening. Ah! Oh, ah, oh, King Koopa, no! We'll deal with you tomorrow. Um, where was I? Right. So, yes, I would really appreciate if you check that out. I put a lot of work into the stuff there. I have other board game videos, other movie stuff. Uh, other stuff about video games that I'm working on. It's going to be going up, so please give it a subscribe. If you want to catch any of the future episodes of this particular show we're doing here, any of the future streams, you can either uh, check the schedule down below, which will show you what's going on, which for the next uh, through Thursday, and it's going to be more of this. I'm going to go to Super Mario World next after I beat this tomorrow. And then uh, Friday through Sunday, I'm going to be playing Super Mario 3D All-Stars. And we're going to be playing quite a bit of that coming up because I'm super excited to play it. Um, and if you want to see more specific times, it's about 8 p.m. Eastern is what I'm doing right now. But subject to change, uh, go check out the main channel page. There's a more detailed schedule there. And you can also follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid. I tweet out whenever I go live. You can also follow me. It's free for you if you have an account and it really helps me out. So... I'd greatly appreciate you considering. So with that, I'd definitely like to thank you for inviting me into your home, your computer, your tablet, your phone, your laptop, your gaming console, however it is you watch tonight. I greatly appreciate it. I hope I brought some levity and entertainment into your life. I try my best. I hope you'll consider joining us again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern for the next part of this particular marathon. And hey, if nobody's ever told you this, if nobody tells you this, I'll tell you this right now. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. Thank you for Mario. Come back tomorrow, 8 p.m. Go watch that video tomorrow. I put a ton of work into it. It'll be up 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube. Iggy and the Ape. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.